Honorable Speaker, I present the budget for 24-25. Introduction. The people of India have reposed their faith in the government led by Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi and re-elected it for a historic third term under his leadership. We are grateful for their support, faith and trust in our policies. We are determined to ensure that all Indians, regardless of religion, caste, gender and age, make substantial progress in realizing their life goals and aspirations. Global context. The global economy, while performing better than expected, is still in the grip of policy uncertainties. Elevated asset prices, political uncertainties, and shipping disruptions continue to pose significant downside risks for growth and upside risks to inflation. In this context, India's economic growth continues to be the shining exception and will remain so in the years ahead. India's inflation continues to be low, stable, and moving towards the 4% target. Co-inflation, that is non-food and non-fuel, currently is 3.1%. Steps are being taken to ensure supplies of perishable goods reach markets adequately. Interim budget. As mentioned in the interim budget, we need to focus on four major castes, namely the Garib, Mahilaye, Yuva, and Anadatta, the poor, women, youth, and the farmer. For Anadatta, we announced higher minimum support prices a month ago for all major crops delivering on the promise of at least a 50% margin over costs. Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Anna Yojana was extended for five years, benefiting more than 80 crore people. Administrative actions for approval and implementation of various schemes announced in the interim budget are well underway. The required allocations have been made. Budget theme. Turning attention to the full year and beyond in this budget, we particularly focus on employment, skilling, MSMEs, and the middle class. I'm happy to announce the Prime Minister's package of five schemes and initiatives to facilitate employment, skilling, and other opportunities for 4.1 crore youth over a five-year period, with a central outlay of 2 lakh crore rupees. I will speak about them shortly, while more details may be seen in the annexure. This year, I've made a provision of 1.48 lakh rupees, 1.48 lakh crore rupees for education, employment, and skilling. Budget priorities. The people have given a unique opportunity to our government to take the country on the path of strong development and an all-round prosperity. In the interim budget, we promise to present a detailed roadmap for our pursuit of Vikasit Bharat. In line with the strategy set out in the interim budget, this budget envisages sustained efforts on the following nine priorities for generating ample opportunities for all. Number one, productivity and resilience in agriculture. Number two, employment and skilling. Number three, inclusive human resource development and social justice. Four, 
manufacturing and services, five, urban development, six, energy security, seven, infrastructure, eight, innovation, research and development, and nine, next generation reforms. Subsequent budgets will build on these and add more priorities and actions. A more detailed formulation will be carried out as part of the economic policy framework about which I will speak later in this speech. This budget details some of the specific actions to be initiated in the current year towards fulfillment of these priorities with potential for transformative changes. The budget also covers some of the previously made announcements with intent to strengthen them and step up their implementation for expediting our journey towards the goal of Vikasid Bharat. Priority one, productivity and resilience in agriculture. Transforming agricultural research. Our government will undertake a comprehensive review of the research, agricultural research setup to bring the focus on raising productivity and developing climate resilient varieties. Funding will be provided in challenge mode, including to the private sector. Domain experts, both from the government and outside, will oversee the conduct of such research. Release of new varieties. New 109 high yielding and climate resilient varieties of 32 field and horticultural crops will be released for cultivation by farmers. Natural farming. In the next two years, one crore farmers across the country will be initiated into natural farming, supported by certification and branding. Implementation will be through scientific institutions and willing gram panchayats. 10,000 need-based bio-input resource centers will be established. Missions for pulses and oil seeds. For achieving self-sufficiency in pulses and oil seeds, we will strengthen their production, storage, and marketing. As announced in the interim budget, a strategy is being put in place to achieve Atmanirbharta for oil seeds, such as mustard, groundnut, sesame, soybean, and sunflower. Vegetable production and supply chains. Large-scale clusters for vegetable production will be developed closer to major consumption centers. We will promote farmer producer organizations, cooperatives, and startups for vegetable supply chains, including for collection and storage and marketing. 